They are ugly to look at, and they could even be deadly for sea animals. We're talking about the algae blooms that appear every summer in the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries. Tonight on your side, photojournalist Larry Carney took a ride with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation to learn why the blooms are bad for the ecosystem. I'm Chris Moore. I'm the Hampton Roads Senior Scientist with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. We're out today uh, seeing how widespread an algae bloom has become in the Lafayette River. Um, this bloom is composed primarily of a species called co Cochlidinium, which is considered a harmful algal bloom species uh, because it's negative effects on fish and oysters and crabs in the river. This is not as bad right now. Now it's getting worse again. A lot of how we control these blooms is to make changes to how we uh, do our pollution reductions on land. Um, Things like installing rain gardens in our homes, uh, better stormwater management uh, in our cities and in our, in our communities, uh, increased wastewater treatment um, here in the region. If we can keep from having these blooms in the future, um, one, we're going to have water quality and water clarity that's much better, and we're going to have uh, much more robust populations of fish and shellfish. Um, we're going to have more recreational opportunities because when the water looks like this, people don't want to actually go paddle through it or swim in it or things like that. And uh, we're going to have waters that us as a community in Hampton Roads can be very proud of. Interesting. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation says there are some easy steps you can take to keep the algae blooms away. Don't fertilize your yard, pick up pet waste, and plant more trees in your yard.